My name is Richard Weiss, and I'm an explorer. I actually think we're in a golden era of exploration. With the advent of DNA, you know, we're suddenly finding a lot more, you know, in terms of archaeology with satellite imagery. We're finding more dinosaur bones than we ever thought, you know, possible. So I think the game has changed. Uh, there's less faces associated with the outdoors or with exploration, but the research is going on. And, and in fact, probably the research is more relevant to the overall human population than it was before. You know, before it was sticking a flag and saying, okay, we've conquered Everest. But now it's a microbiologist looking at a, at a microbe that lives at altitude and, you know, using the properties that protect it from ultraviolet light and saying, okay, I can apply this to house paint or car paint so it doesn't fade. So I, I think it's, it's a very exciting period. I think technology has changed a lot of what we do because it, um, during the time of Shackleton, every one of these guys had to go through a, a, just a very long, drawn-out apprenticeship. I mean, they really knew the outdoors. And now with technology, you know, we have uh, phones that work on Everest or, uh, or out on the North Pole. You have uh, clothing that's better. You have uh, communications that are better. I mean, just, the, you know, uh, the ability to, to look at weather. So, for example, when you go on an Abercrombie and Kent adventure trip, um, you know, you have a safety net around you that earlier explorers might not have had. And I, and I think, you know, from a person, I'm sort of a, a, um, a gadget guy. And in one hand, I sort of like, you know, being able to light a fire without matches type things. But, you know, I have to admit, I really enjoy some of the new uh, gadgets that are coming out from cameras to uh, personal locators. Well, what, what am I... Um, favorite gadgets, and this I think is born out of that Mount Hood accident that happened about a year and a half ago, where people are trying to use their cell phone to uh, be located. And there's a company called Spot, and it's a satellite personal tracker. And what this does beyond sending out an emergency signal of where you are, it has a neat little feature that says, I'm okay. And what you do is you determine who is on your I'm okay list. And uh, for example, I have my wife on it, and it sends her a text message with my um, coordinates. And it also sends her a Google map on the email so she can see exactly where I am. So I could be on Kilimanjaro, the North Pole, or any of these things, and I just keep pinging her where I am. It doesn't mean an expensive uh, phone call. And uh, you know, I know even business travelers are using technology like this. So I think this is uh, something kind of neat. Um, obviously, staying healthy on a trip is very important. And uh, waterborne diseases are one of the biggest problems. And so I use a product uh, called the SteriPen. And this is really a spinoff from NASA technology. This probe actually emits ultraviolet light. I put it in water for about uh, a minute, minute and a half, depends whether it's a, a liter or two liters. And it kills almost all the microbes. And it's gotten to a point where if I'm in a hotel, say in India, and I don't feel like calling room service for bottled water because I don't feel like getting dressed, and you know, I just go out of the tap, you know, put this in, and it purifies the water. And uh, knock on wood, I've been, you know, to Africa in the last two years at least a dozen times in South America, and, and I've never gotten sick. So that's something neat. There's a great product called the Celestron Sky Scout. And what the Sky Scout does, it's a star and planet finder or spotter, is that if I see a star or constellation that, you know, I'm unfamiliar, I point it up, press this button, and it will tell me what I'm looking at. It has, um, you know, a, a GPS in inside of it. Or if I'm looking for a star, say I want to find Mars, I press a nut, the button punch in Mars, and it has a little arrow that will direct me until I hit it and then it will blink that I've uh, found it. So even though I used to look at uh, stars with my father, you know, I just found that there's just a whole level of astronomy now that you know, I wouldn't have known. And it's very hard to have those books when you're outside and stuff like that, so this is a neat product. 